So the, what we have now is about the most of what we're going to see. So this is the live copter three and you can see obviously the drops on the lens. But if you look beyond that, there's a little slice of blue sky out there as well. And if I show you radar, you can see, yes, there is this little line of rain that goes from the Sierra down through Sacramento County. But yes, beyond that, we actually have areas of clearing. That line is moving from the north to the south. So right now, Sacramento County is seeing the best rain we are going to see. We're also seeing the best rain we're going to see in Placer County, too. So as you can see around Sacramento, it's very, very light rain. It's been enough to make the roads wet, but it's hardly measurable. We're getting about one one hundredth of an inch of rain. A little bit farther to the east in Roseville, we're still getting the rain, but you go up 65 to Lincoln and well, we're out of the rain and Wheatland is already dried out. And the same thing is true on Highway 20, where we saw the best rain earlier today in Grass Valley, Nevada City. All of that is dried out. And with this line going from north to south, you can see that on Interstate 80, while we've been talking about snow and chain controls, well, that snow isn't going to last that much longer. It's sinking to the south and we do have some snow, actually more of a rain snow mix on Highway 50 and Highway 88, but we don't have any chain controls there at this point. So let me show you how we've been doing in terms of our rain totals. It hasn't been that great, but a little something. Oroville picked up about a tenth of an inch of rain. So did Marysville 0 0.10, Lake Tahoe 0 0.03, Grass Valley. Last time I checked it was 0.17. We probably added a little bit to that, but as you can see, these rain totals are very modest and many valley locations are going to miss this completely and on the satellite you can see that line making its way from north to south with clearing in behind it. We have cooler air coming in, so this is the way tomorrow is going to go. There may be a lingering cloud or maybe some fog first thing in the morning, but morning temperatures will be in the 40s. One of the cooler mornings we've seen so far. There'll be a north breeze during the day and by noontime it's only around 62 and through the afternoon, despite the fact we'll see bright sunshine highs only in the upper 60s. Uh, before today, we haven't seen daytime highs in the 60s since early May. So this is quite a change temperature wise, even though we are going to be dry during the day tomorrow and for the next seven days. This is the seven day forecast for the Sierra sunshine tomorrow with highs in the upper 40s. A few clouds, but dry on Friday, dry over the weekend, lows in the teens to around 20 highs in the low 50s, but it will be dry this weekend around Lake Tahoe. What about the foothills? The rain we're seeing right now will be gone by tomorrow. Tomorrow will turn out to be a bright and sunny day along Highway 49 with highs in the mid 60s. A few clouds Friday. Here's the weekend in Auburn and Placerville and Sonora. Highs in the upper 60s to around 70. A few clouds on Halloween, but that too is dry. And for the valley, the rain we have right now will be clearing out. Tomorrow will be a mostly sunny day. It turns breezy, a gusty north wind on Saturday with a high near 70. Sunday about 72 degrees and early next week also looks dry with highs in the upper 60s to low 70s. Back to you.